Welcome, my name is Chris Galler with the Minnesota Association of Realtors. Today we're going to talk about the mortgage interest deduction and publicity and media speculation related to a number of activities that are happening at both the federal and even at the state level. One is the Federal Tax Commission, which the President appointed, which is a bipartisan committee. They've released details of their commission study, and within the commission study, they are recommending a modification to the mortgage interest deduction. Keep in mind, in order for this to go through, they first need to get the commission to vote on it, and right now it appears there's not even enough votes on the commission to approve any changes that have not passed through legislation. Meaning, they're going to issue a study, a report, that says in order to solve the deficit, here's some steps that the Congress should consider taking and the President signing. Right now there's 15 bipartisan members on there and they themselves can't even agree on what will go forward, much less has it gotten through the House of Representatives with 400 plus members, the Senate with 100 plus members, and of course the President itself. So thoughts that this is a done deal, that the mortgage interest is going away, it's not. You also should know historically about the mortgage interest deduction. It's been looked at many, many times throughout the years, most recently in 2005, when there was again some proposals to go to at that time a flat tax and get rid of all deductions, including the mortgage interest deduction. Again, many of these studies and commissions come out with lots of hoopla and lots of publicity, but they don't get off the ground. In 1986, the first time there was actually any major action on deductions, they eliminated car mortgage deductions and credit card deductions. If you remember, they came back within a year and added the ability to deduct home equity loans from your mortgage, I mean from your taxes. The key part was, and you all know it instinctively, is that what occurred was people started to make purchases using home equity loans. That may have been a bad policy and it may have led to some problems, but the mortgage interest deduction hasn't caused the difficulties we have in our, more, in our housing industry. In fact, the housing industry's mortgage interest deduction and all deductions started in 1913. We've had this deduction in place and others in place through world wars, through the Great Depression, and through a number of other budgetary woes, inflationary cycles, and other things. This is a grab for money. And people say, well, Chris, you know, it's only right that we have this. We need more money for the government. Keep in mind Great Britain. Great Britain will be used a number of times, and you'll hear about them. They have a similar home ownership rate to what the United States does. In 2000, facing budget woes, they did away with the mortgage interest deduction. So far, it hasn't significantly impacted their home ownership rate. But you know what they're doing right now? Right now they're again going back in looking at raising taxes and having to cut expenditures. Because the fact of the matter is more money isn't the salvation to the problems that the government has. It is reductions in spending and perhaps additional revenue to supplant or to at least make sure that there are dollars into the future. We will print out a number of articles in coming months. We want you to watch for our Housing Matters campaign where we're going to work with the National Association of Realtors and our local association partners to make sure you have data to get to your customers, your clients, so that they understand housing is more than just a tax deduction. It builds societies, it builds wealth within the families, and I don't know very many clients in your neighborhood, but mine aren't excited about their neighbors becoming landlords and having renters move in. That's an important thing that we need to keep in mind. With that, I thank you for tuning in today. We hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.